Hello everyone, my name is Lindsay6, back finally with some more Crusader Kings 2. This mod has been updated to Conclave, and so we are going to be playing a Conclave game as the greatest character of all time, Lord Tormo, the, the greatest, Lord of Bravos, and we are going to make Bravos great again. We are. Great after its um, not so brilliant time in... Uh, Mountain Blade Warband. Tormo, he fought well, but now we shall make him great again. So, here we are. We are loaded in, and, well, this is Tormo. We are an elusive shadow, so we have lots of delicious intrigue and a bit of diplomacy, that's very nice. We are scholarly and bookish, so we have lots of learning. We're deceitful, but we're kind. Um, sure. And we're also very zealous, we are a religious extremist. And we are here for the glory of Bravos. Now, a reason I've not gone back to the other campaign is because this mod has been updated with Conclave in there, so it's all very nice, so we need to start doing, and we get to play about with all that Conclave stuff. And so we have both, we are on the council, I believe, yes. We are an advisor. Um, I think just an advisor, I don't think we actually have any, um, unless none of these are advisor, are they? No, ours is just a ceremonial role that lets us vote on here. We are currently set as a zealot, um, but we could change that at any point. Most people are pragmatists, so, yep, they'll do pragmatistic type things. Uh, the only other zealot is the spy master, so we might be able to have some pretty, yep, we've got pretty good relations with him because we are both zealous, and we are going to, well, try and expand our realm and do what makes, we're going to make Bravos great again. So here we are right now, we have joint most respect with this other bloke, and so this other bloke kind of needs to die, or something along those lines. We could kill him, or we could show that he's a traitor, but um, let's see. Actually, yes, because that would replace him with his heir, and because his heir's younger, mmm. That would be a good idea, so I think, and we are, it is on our nature to try and kill people, so let's take a quick look. We could, ooh, we could send for a faceless man. Mm. Ooh. But that takes quite a lot of money, and I don't want to spend that much. Hmm. We'll just uh, see if anyone joins, for now. But right now we need to sort out this stuff. Our current area, yep. He's... There. I'm going to leave it in Agnatic because the kingdom's Agnatic and I don't want our bit to, like, say, have a woman end up in charge, but that woman not be able to inherit the main title, so, yes. Um, crown laws, we can't change any of that, that's fine. Um, obligations, yeah, sure. And council have quite a lot of power and they're not really in the mood to get rid of it. But the good news is it's the same for the big one, so that's fine. That's all very, very fine. I only have one vassal, a temple. Um, enter the slave trade. I don't think we can, though, because we don't have the required laws. We can do all these sorts of lovely little things. Household guards. We've got loads of money to start with, so that's quite good. I think the first thing I'm going to do for the long term, we are going to upgrade our mansion, maybe. Actually, that takes forever. Well, a few years. So, I don't know, should we do that, or should we upgrade something else, or should we just not... Mmm, let's just do it. Just, just go for it. And let's get our positions. Who we got? Um, yeah, let's perform some charity, we'll do a bit of scheming. Uh, we'll collect taxes. Our heir is 17. And we have a daughter, she's still learning, so... She's affectionate and an idolizer. That could be good. Actually, what's our air like? Content, paranoid, stubborn. No, he's terrible. But we kind of have to keep him, so... That only... Yeah, that's only children, so... Uh, who cares? It's only a girl now, so... Um, so some dissent? Sure. That sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a terrible idea, but let's do it anyway. And taxes, yup, and reduce build time, so that's all good. Uh, these are our people, they, they're they not really in the mood for doing anything, and this is our stuff. And that's all nice and cool, and we have a fairly decent sized army. Now we can go to war with quite a few people, but we probably don't want to go to war with too many. 
Actually, someone owns a trade post here. Who owns the trade post here? These people. Him. Well. Hello there, sir. She's just a random courtier. Yep. So, um... Actually, let's sort out the rest of this first. Get rid of that stuff. Unmarried heir. Let's marry you off. Preferably to someone who we can get some kind of pact with. Um, highest rank. Courtier and Pentos. Ooh! Magister Thingamy of Pentos. That'd be quite good. Hmm. Getting the king on board. But we also want someone who's got extra nice traits. There aren't really anyone. No, no one who's really strong or intelligent or anything. Okay. In that case, I think we'll just go for the Pentos person. Yep. That's fine. Get us an alliance. Good, good. And then ambition. What ambition do we want? We've got children. Lover? Nah. Lifestyle? Nah. War chest? Nah. I don't know. Um, let's do fall in love and we'll have a go at seduction because we're an intrigue person. And who's the person we're killing? You there. You have a wife. Well, we can't seduce her. Oh, because I don't own... Uh, that makes a lot of sense. In that case... We need to find some pe can we- we could seduce your wife. Let's go for it. Let's- let's seduce the wife of my liege. This should be fun. There we go. She will be mine. We're a very poor military ruler. That's fine. That's fine with us. We'll, um, oh, it's just bodyguard. Oh, and education focus. Sure. Um, you have affectionate and idolizer. So we can go diplomatic. Um, or learning. I think we'll go for diplomatic for you. There we go. Oh, getting a message from someone. Oh dear, oh dear. Yep, that's definitely not. <laughs> oh dear. I needed to do that, even if it does ruin this recording forever and ever and ever. Oh man. I don't know. Bodyguard. Oh, we could probably do with that. 1.5. 1.5. This person, yeah, they haven't realised that um, I've set it so that it's not showing the Steam overlay on the recording, so uh, no, they're not going to be famous. Ha ha ha. Um, Bodyguard and Bravo. Oh, Bravo could- oh, we can't assign any Bravo in Bravos. Do you people have- you have good dual skill, you do? Yeah, we'll set you to- it's not actually good, but it's slightly better than mine, and hey, you guys dying instead of me would be better. So that should be nice and fine. Yay, married. Okay. And this guy- it was this guy, wasn't it? You're in that trade post, I believe. Volunteer, yeah. Yeah, it was you. And yep, you don't have any others in that case. Hey, friend. Guess what? I want your trade post, bro. Council votes yes? Yep. Nice. And we'll raise the 23 silly levies just in case. And actually, no, we'll stay here for a second, see what he does. Yep. Play to the groom's house. Yeah, we need some money. Well, we don't need money, but we can get money. We can host a wedding. We'll see if we get the money first. Hey, lots of money. Um, yeah, let's do it. Nice. We're hosting him a wedding. He's going to the hills. That's twenty fourth. Um, we'll wait until nineteenth, twenty third, twenty third, twenty second, twenty second. Um. No, we'll just leave it a little bit, just in case, just to make sure we don't run into him. I'd rather not, to be completely honest. Hey, you can brand me a traitor! Oh! Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro! 
brand me a traitor, I'm doing this in the name of Bravos. Can't stop me, bro. Can't stop me. There is no rush in there. That's gonna keep popping up during this war, but it'll be fine. And now, we wait. Vassal, ah, oh, who cares? Who cares, mate, you had 23 levies. Oh, he has a fort in his main province, oh dear. And he's, what, has he hired some mercs? That's gonna ruin his economy. But he didn't spend his money ridiculously. Apparently I voted against something. <laughs> yeah. Cause screw you, my lord. Am I still I am still on here. Yeah, I'm gonna be malcontent. Yeah, bro. Yeah boy. Wait, why are you just standing in the cab what? What? <laughs> um, I think something's gone wrong here. Because, um, he's just standing in the capital. Oh, I see, he's defending his trade post. Right. Wait a minute. Oh, shit, someone, owned, someone else owns the trade post now, do they? Oh, damn. Wait, so you don't... Are you kidding me? Did someone else... Oh, no, 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 that is still your trade post. Good. Oh, I clicked on that one instead. Right. Okay, it's fine. Yes, there's no rush. We will seduce his wife. It will be fine. Hopefully we will... He's got loads of prestige, blimey. Um, can we do some little things that give us prestige? Not right now, no. In a little bit, though. Oh. Oh? Castle of the Arsenal. Um, okay, so he owned the castle there, okay, and so his wife is ta- okay, fine, okay, that's fine. That must be a new thing from Conclave or something, or it happened before and I just didn't remember. Ah, of course he wants that fact. Um, you are... Gylo, is that... no, that's you. Yep, I'll do that. There you go. He owns me a favour. I can probably use that to my advantage now that I'm a malcontent. Hey, Priest likes me slightly more. That's good. No rush, yep. Here we go. Almost taken his castle. This should give us a huge chunk of war score. Is this... Hey, we got some people. Uh, did they add any war score? Yes, he would now t accept our demands. Jolly good. So now we have... Oh, he's offered me peace. Well, I've sent him peace, so I'll wait for him to accept mine first. There we go. And now we own two trade posts, including one in the capital of Bravos. And he owns none. And I think we got a little bit of prestige for that, so that's really quite nice. Yes. Now this bloke, how big is your army? Ooh, quite large. Hmm. Oh. Uh, to everyone's astonishment, a galley belonging to the Fregar family. That's... That's me. That was fought lost years ago, slipped quietly into port last night. The ship is riddled with arrows and the sails are barely holding together, but against all odds the captain has managed to bring in his cargo. He has quite a story to tell. 40 gold. Oh, and he's discovered new markets in foreign shores. Right for opportunities, even more money! Oh my, just so much money guys, so much money. We are, we are rolling in it. Oh that's lovely, that is lovely. There is no rush. Now that we are out, we can leave the army, and now we have time. Anyway, we have three packs here. Um, she doesn't have an army, but one of our packs is with this guy. The Magister of Pentos. 
Same interests. Oh, he needs a better relation, apparently. If we can get a good relation with him, somehow. Not sure how. <laughs> Try and marry him to someone. <laughs> oh, his wife's died. Hmm. Hmm. If there's a way that we can increase our relations, that would be good. And then we can get an alliance, and then he can... Well, I mean, look at that army. We can get the bloke of Pentos to just do whatever for us. And that'll be quite nice. We could start a faction. Lower crown, depose. We don't want to depose yet, because this other guy's in the running. Um, oh! Prisoners, yes. You there. Ten gold, I will accept. The council will accept. Lovely jubbly. Lots of delicious monies. And can we... Can't do a summer, summer fair yet. And the feast is kind of disappeared. I need another tactic. Yep. Um, oh, a feast there now. Establish a household guard. That might be a good idea. Not, I can't remember what it does, but it gives you a few options. Tax goes down, but we get some... Yeah. Appoint a captain of your household guard. Let's do that. Captain of the household guard. Well, we can only get one. This guy, he kind of likes me. He's got some dual skill. He's craven, unfortunately, but that's not a problem. There we go. And now we can command the household guard. So we can improve our levies. We can set up some defenses. We can try and bring order, lose prestige. Those things lose prestige, so we don't really want that. Um, let's see what we can do by improving our levies. We can train the peasants, so more revolt risk, less tax, more reinforcement rate, or drill... I think we'll just drill our soldiers for now, get a better levy, get more morale. That'll be good. Yup. And that is nice, and we also got a few extra soldiers from having the household guard. Yeah, we've got heavy cav and heavy infantry. Oh, liege loyalists, oh dear. Oh dear, we can't have that, can we? No, sir. Um, no one, no one wants to kill this guy, blimey. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. And we can't even, like, seduce his wife or something. Actually, we got a favour from someone, so could we, like, just start messing around with the council or something? What kind of... what does it give us? Can make someone vote like you're on the council. Prevent or force realm feasts from your liege. Ask your liege to press one of your clay. Ah! Start a law vote for your liege. Force acceptance. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. Hmm. Ah. So we could force them into joining our wars. Or into joining a faction. Oh, that could be useful. Forcing them to join a faction. Who is it that has a uh, doobie-doobie-doo, Liege Council? This guy. You don't have many soldiers. This guy... does have a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really want to mess with him. I won't give up just yet. We will try and seduce his wife just a little bit more. Actually, that's the point. We could try and get some um, favours from a few other people and force them into joining the faction. Oh, but we don't have a faction to make us in power, we only have a faction to depose him. Mmm, we don't want that. No, sir. No, we do not, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Three bags full, sir. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, dear. Right, but we're, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. How's the Pentotian bloke feeling about us? Still not very happy? Still wouldn't want to form an alliance? No. If we can get him to form an alliance, we can get him to, um, basically do whatever we want for us. Which would be quite a nice little thing. How's your family doing? You got a few children? Can I educate one of your children? No? No? Child be hostage in a foreign power, fine. I can't buy a favour because I can't pay. It would be really expensive. Nah. We are still building up the mansions. Halfway done. That's good. Once we do that, we'll get some nice levy size and tax, and that'll be really good. It will be nice. Also, should we should probably start like, you know, 
finding somewhere that we can trade. Can we can we go for King's Landing? No. I don't have enough money, okay. Um what else? What other places have lots of money? Pentos is there. Oh yeah, that's on the long trade route. Oh that'd be a good one. Hmm. That would be a good one. Who else can we declare war on? This is the only other guy we can declare war on. To seize the Marsh's trade post. He doesn't really have much, but he has lots of pact. And, oh, that includes... Hey, yes. Might want to leave that alone for a little bit, then. Yes. Who else could we declare war on? Any little people? Any little people we could declare war on? Our leader, is he at war? Um, that? No, he's not. Oh, no, 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 that guy. No, he's not. He is not at war. Hmm. Anyone over? No, no one on Westeros. Right. How do we want to play this? She is lustful. Make a lewd suggestion, then. Let our love grow. We now have a lover. Lovely Jubbly. And this is the wife of our liege. Just how we like it. Build a war chest. Yeah, that'll be a good one for now. There we go. And now that we have his wife as a lover. She... No, she wouldn't help. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Who else could we seduce? He doesn't have a wife right now. Alliance? No. 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 Um, family. Oh, your heir. Could I? No. Can't seduce you. Could buy a favour from this guy. Ooh. Eh, ooh. No chance to kill him. Let's see, what else we got going on in the Republic? The Republic. Oh, that guy's just kind of terrible. <laughs> Could I? What factions we got? Depose and Lower Crown Authority. Eh. Dunno. I want to get some land. I want some land. Do I have any claims? No. But I could try and get some claims. And then, actually, how much would it cost to, um... Oh, hold on, you had a son. How much would it cost to, um, buy a favour from you? 700 and... No! Thank you. Can I, can I have one of your vassals? No, I'm not going to give you one of my vassals. I could declare war. Apparently, we're not allowed to do that. <laughs> oh dear. What if I plot to kill this guy? Will that. Because that might shake things up a bit. Oh, what's that? Extort subjects? Alright. Oh, I'm not going to do that. No. We're not going to be mad. We're not. We're not crazy. Yep. Actually, favours, let's take a look. Can I... I can't force someone to join a plot, can I? Hmm... No. Unfortunately, I cannot. Hmm... Intriguing. Intriguing. Are there any dragons around? There are. Khaleesi. Hmm. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I'm, I'm done, thank you. <laughs> Actually, there's lots of these... Oh dear. Did our plot get revealed? It didn't say, so I'm going to assume not. Right, let's fabricate a claim on, I don't know, this bloke, because he's independent. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Handle. Oh, okay, just, just handle. 
<laughs> I mean, it makes sense, you know, the Andals in Andalos. Kind of. So, okay, so they're not Andal. Oh, blimey, everyone's joining the Leech Loyalists. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Why does no one hate this guy? That's, that's mad. That's mad, bro. Bruh. And I can't even, like... <sighs> you there, I want to give you money, but you won't let me. There's, no, there's not even a send gift at all. Ah, oh, dear. What can we do? Can we arrange a marriage? Would that make you happy? You've got a daughter. Oh, she's married. Oh, right, yeah, that, of course, that's why there's a marriage. Hey, Gregarious! Nice! Oh, that's good, more diplomacy. Oh, he might actually like us a bit more now. That might be enough. No, not quite. But we are Gregarious, so that is a useful little thing. Right, now we've got seduction, we should probably, like, start seducing people. Who can we seduce? You there, you have lots of respect. Let's seduce your wife. Can't. Mm. Mm. Um, you there. Who's in your court? Any powerful women, apart from your wife? She has no role, she has no role, no, 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 no. Um, who's your spy master? My admiral, state inquisitor, just a girl. Uh, sword. Spymaster, he has a wife. Well, I guess then we'll seduce the Spymaster's wife. Oh, uh, well, go. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> sure there'll be no problems with that whatsoever. We need to kill this guy. We're getting old. We are getting old here. This is, this is getting to a point where it could be a bit worrying. We need... We've got the need for speed. Huh. I've got the need for speed. Let's try another tactic. Let's try another tic tac. Still one guy in the Legion Loyalists. Oh dear. Oh dear. Should I go to his feast? Nah, nah, bruh. We're we're standing against your tyranny. You there, bro. Oh, Hello, Yorko. Let's let's give him a small monetary reward. We can afford that. Need more practice. Yes, we do. Can't... Uh, I can't think of a way... Oh, we can send him a gift now. Oh, blimey, that's a lot of money. But it increases his opinion and could give us the alliance. I think it's worth it. Yes, he'd accept the alliance. All lovely. Oh, oh that's nice. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Even though I don't really like him. But that doesn't matter if I don't like him. Now we have Pentos on our side. There's not really anything we can't do. You there. What can we declare? Oh, trade post. Meh. How about you? How much soldierage do you have? Oh, actually, now that I have the power... Could I? No. No, I couldn't. Hmm. Who else could I declare war on? Tyrosh? What could I declare war on you from? For a trade post? Oh, that's a bit boring. You? I could seize a city. Ooh. Oh, that would be nice. Um, And would Pen... Sorry, I didn't check that. Pentos would join us. Pentos would join us. We have 12,000, he has 12,000, he has 18,000, ooh, ooh, oh dear, this could be interesting. Can we seize any, oh, we gain tons of prestige, takes all, oh, oh, we can actually, oh, that'll be brilliant, we can actually just take his entire country, oh my, <laughs> takes all occupied territory, becomes the new Archon of Lorath. Oh, we are doing this in the next episode. 
Goodbye.